Fiddler's Gathering is a popular event every year, and for one man, it's an event he travels thousands of miles to see. News 18 video journalist Ryan Delaney shares his story. In the small borough of Battleground, just minutes from Lafayette, some of the greatest musicians you've never heard gather. Some of them play guitar and some play banjo, but the centerpiece of this family is the fiddle. Among the oaks and maples sits a stage. 362 days out of the year, this field is a museum nestled on the edge of a sleepy Indiana town. But for three days in June, it's the site for the Indiana Fiddler's Gathering. A music festival where masters of classic American stringed instruments play some of the country's greatest folk music. Fans of this genre come from miles around and brave the bugs and heat to have a chance to bask in the greats from across the country and some from abroad. Many are local folks that love the festival, but some people come from far away just to get a taste of their favorite artist. I'm from Shelburne, Vermont, which is just a, a suburb, you might say, if, there, if we have any suburbs in Vermont. Uh, of Burlington, the largest city, right on Lake Champlain, about, uh, oh, maybe half an hour's drive from the Canadian border. Mr. Metz traveled over 1,000 miles just to see his favorite group perform. In a day and age, when you can just put a CD in a player or listen to an MP3, Metz says there is nothing quite like hearing them live, especially in such a friendly atmosphere. Uh, why would you ride 1,000 miles uh, primarily uh, to see uh, Dave and Kathy, and that's because uh, the whole atmosphere and uh, the personal connection is there in no other way. Ryan Delaney, News 18.